So if we took CVD, so CVD is particularly related to, and uh, you know, like endothelial health and the and uh, vasodilation. So how would low NOS impact CVD? And I, I think I've seen other talks where you talk about how it also, it's not only does it cause the, the vascular to dilate, but it also reduces plaque or, or it That's reduces right. the buildup. So could you talk about how it does that? Because I think that's a, that, that would be a key part of yeah, no, look, it's 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 very clear. And, and cardiovascular disease is a great example because, number one, it's the number one killer of men and women worldwide. It's a huge problem. And number two, we have a very clear understanding of what causes the onset and progression of cardiovascular disease. So in a healthy blood vessel, we make sufficient nitric oxide. So we can, we can make nitric oxide. It dilates the blood vessels. And it keeps the blood vessels soft and compliant, which with each heartbeat, we, we basically dampen that that pulse wave. And so nitric oxide is what keeps the arteries open. It's what keeps the, the, them compliant. Uh, but when you lose the ability to produce nitric oxide, so let me let me tip back in. The, the onset of cardiovascular disease is really when monocytes and neutrophils and platelets start sticking to the lining of the blood vessel. They migrate through, they cause smooth muscle proliferation. You get fatty cells, foam cells, plaque deposition, and then plaque rupture, and that's heart attack and stroke. So that's the entire sequence of events. But the earliest stages of that is microvascular inflammation and nitric oxide. So the loss of nitric oxide is what sets the stage for the inflammation, oxidative stress, and immune dysfunction that occurs over many, many years in the development of cardiovascular disease. So as long as the blood vessels can make sufficient nitric oxide, then you don't get an upregulation of adhesion molecules. The monocytes and neutrophils don't stick. You don't get the, the uh, fat deposition. You basically prevent smooth muscle prolifer proliferation, which would cause hyperplasia. And then you basically completely prevent the onset and progression of cardiovascular disease. But when you lose the ability to produce nitric oxide, you lose the vasodilatory effects. You start to get an increase in the expression of certain adhesion molecules. And that's what sets the stage for monocytes, rolling, adhering, migrating through the endothelial cells and then causing the immune dysfunction, which leads to plaque deposition, uh, plaque instability, and plaque rupture. So that's the entire mechanism of the onset and progression of cardiovascular disease. So what does nitric oxide do? It maintains vasodilation. It prevents the upregulation of adhesion molecules. It prevents platelets from clotting, and it prevents the inflammation that causes plaque rupture. So as, as long as we can maintain normal nitric oxide production, we can prevent the onset and progression of cardiovascular disease. And that's really the simplicity of what we're doing here. Uh, everything we know about cardiovascular disease, heart attack, stroke, uh, can be explained by a loss of nitric oxide production.